Ever since I came to Emerson, I wanted to seize the opportunity of being in Los Angeles because they have this campus. Things move very fast here. It is very much a film town. There is a lot of great theater happening. It's a really fun city. There's so many things to do, so many opportunities to be had. It's a very inspiring place to be just by existing here. Let's do this again. My name is William, and I'm a senior VMA major at Emerson College. My name is Anderson Hopley. My name is Kendall Dawson. Let's go. Okay, I guess we're just going. Welcome to Los Angeles. Probably going to Emerson College. First thing that stuck out to me about ELA was how big it is. Like, very cavernous. Just seeing it in real life, it was like, wow, this is pretty dope. All right, so welcome to the Terrace. Uh, here we have probably the best view of the Hollywood sign. The terrace is a place where you can make the most connections because people are out there a lot in the kitchen because everybody has to cook, eat. I just want to say thank you to everybody for coming out to our little sunset set on yeah. Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. Performance, make some noise for KZ. I mean, ELA is similar to Boston in that everything is kind of in the same place. First of all, proximity. You hope that your suite is really good. When I first got into my suite, I had never met anyone before. So welcome to the best part of ELA, 9W3, our home. Welcome. And here we have Kendall waiting for us to get this beautiful moment. I did my research. I stalked everyone on Instagram prior to meeting them. So I was like, okay, Andy, you know, he had like an art gallery picture on his Instagram. So I was like, okay, I know the type. Kendall was like too cool for school. So I was like scared and intimidated. And I don't think I could find Alan's Instagram. So I did not know who Alan was at all. You know, people can't always mesh together great. And the beauty is when a suite does. And I feel that our suite has. Let's not happen. Maybe one more time. Let's do it. Let's run it back. Let me read it. <laughs> it feels like a summer camp in a way. If you want like a free trial run experience of LA or just kind of like a taste of what your senior year could be, definitely come out here this summer. William, who worked on this one? That's a good question, actually. You know, I really have no clue who worked on this one. <laughs> the Daniels. Sounds kind of... Never heard of Daniel in Sounds kind of weird, yeah. Excellent. Okay. This is the Los Angeles experience, baby. Let's do it. It's a really fun city. There's so many things to do, so many opportunities to be had. Cons, it's expensive, and I'm broken. Just existing here costs money. Nature of a good budget plan. Unless you can get a job, but since I'm international, I can't get a job. I also knew that the transportation would be a lot different. You don't have a car, do you? I don't have my car with me here, no. So I've been bumming rides off of my friends and saving money for Uber. So if you have a car, it is worth it. Bring it. You gotta pay for a car. You gotta pay for all your food. There's no meal plan during the summer. I'll be cooking it up in the kitchen, I'm not gonna lie. I am a frequent Trader Joe's shopper. Target is like 10 minutes that way. Trader Joe's is 15 minutes that way. Walking Distance. I very much encourage going to the farmer's market. The Hollywood one is really cool because it's just down the street and they do that every Sunday. Oh, I'm tripping, bro. The Mexican street food here is probably the greatest food you'll ever have in your life. Don't sleep on the street tacos. They're like $2 for one taco. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm so happy I got this. This is awesome. Man. Outside of the cost of LA, the main challenge is you're here to develop yourself professionally. I would say it's pretty chillaxed to apply for ELA. It was pretty chill, pretty easy process. In terms of finding an internship, that one was not as easy. You have to apply to over 40, 50 places sometimes. I've been applying for five months to internships before I heard back from anyone. And the first place I heard back from got back to me within two days. So I was like, oh, they like me. They are interested. You know, you get a ton of no's, but once you say a yes, then you can start saying your no's. So I interned at Without Exception Films. It's a documentary production company. And yeah, it's actually a great environment. Welcome to the office. There's Wei. Hello. Hello, Wei. What do you think of me as an intern? Uh, you've been great. Like, have you worked with anyone else from Emerson? Yes. Okay. Uh, we yeah. have had multiple Emerson interns before. They've all been great. I was compared to USC students. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I'm glad that I ended up with the internship that I did end up with because it worked a lot better in my favor to be somewhere that would benefit me in the long run instead of just being somewhere just to, like, say, oh, I have an internship. It feels like every single day that I'm there, that I'm valued. So it's been a really good experience, even though it took five months to hear back from anyone for my internship. So, yeah, it's been good. Since I have a car, 
I knew one of my goals for ELA and for the summer was to take a trip somewhere. So William mentioned pretty early on that he was kind of a seasoned veteran when it comes to camping. <laughs> Will was talking about like, oh, we should like, oh, like I think I'm gonna go camping. And then we all kind of looked at him like, you're, you're gonna go camping? And then later on, Andy was like, hey, I'm gonna go camping with Will. And I was like, oh, you're both crazy. <laughs> and then I don't know, I think what convinced me was the idea that Joshua Tree was in a really, really dark location. And I used to really want to be an astronaut. So I was like, if I go to Joshua Tree, I can see the stars. Don't you always look at a location and be like, this would be a great nerf battle location? Yeah. Oh man. I felt like it was an adult jungle gym for real. Like getting like jump on all the rocks. I felt like I was doing parkour a couple of times and it felt good to kind of just like disconnect and just like enjoy nature. We went to a cactus garden. Yeah. It was crazy. Beautiful sunrise. We cooked some amazing food. Shout out walking tacos. Shout out. Mr. Pancake. <sighs> we had difficulty cooking breakfast for our first morning. Basically what happened is I was trying to cook this pancake. I was so tired and I was almost losing my patience. And as soon as the pancake was halfway done cooking, which took 10 minutes probably, I go and say, come on, Mr. Pancake. <laughs> It sounded so depressing. It, it was desperation. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Pancake. How does Andy say it? Andy's too good. I'm not sleep deprived enough for this because there's a way he says it in his voice where you like hear the sleep deprivation. I don't think we can recreate it. Come on, Mr. Pancake. <laughs> can I get a review on Andy's cooking? Oh, it's Max. It's Max. Good camping right here. Good camping? Anyways, yeah, it was a great time. And once Andy and Kendall signed on to the camping adventure, I knew we were gonna have a blast. So I'm glad they joined me in sweating our booty cakes off <laughs> in the desert. <laughs> Before coming to ELA, I did not know anyone here. I did not know my sweet mates. I did not know any of the Emerson people. So, to my surprise, it felt like everyone in the summer program really wanted to be here and really wanted to seize every opportunity that came up. Everyone is down to do everything, basically. Yeah, so we went to Santa Monica a few times. Not overrated. Actually, exactly how you would imagine it being. Malibu, we had a phenomenal journey to Malibu. Matador State Park was probably like a highlight of the summer for me. It was so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. Will wanted to take photos. Me and Andy didn't want to get wet, so we were constantly running away from the tide. I made the mistake of wearing sneakers, and my socks got wet, so that was a fun car ride back. But I actually don't know how we like made this group. Like, I was telling Will earlier, I didn't know if we were gonna be friends because in the kitchen he was quiet. And then I don't even know how we like just got closer, just like that. Will was chill. For like me and Will, like it doesn't just stop at sweet mates. Like I feel like I made a genuine friend in Will and I'm glad that like I get to like kick it with Will and like Will's like always shooting his camera. And, like I always get to like be in Will's photos because I love being in photos. Will's loves taking photos. Like it's that's a dynamic that works really, really well. I've been trying not to take it for granted, but I definitely have been taking it for granted that I have such great people who are just down to do whatever. And I'm really gonna miss that. I'll miss Andy, Bill, Alan, Habiba, and Sydney and Sydney and Stephanie. And I hope that our paths cross back in Boston. To my future self, man, get ready. It's definitely prepared me for entering my chosen industry. I think also just like giving us a behind the curtain, oh, look at the wizard kind of thing. Like there is a way to approach it and there is a way to make sustainable, meaningful connections and like even friendships in the industry. I think I think it's prepared me to speak up for myself. I think it's prepared me to be more of an advocate for myself. To again, just say hi to people and put myself in those spaces. I can't explain why, but like, I think I'm gonna miss LA. If I were to just tell an Emerson student about the LA program, like be ecstatic for it. It turned out that I wanted to do it because I didn't have anything going on in the summer. And I can't imagine what I would have done maybe remotely at home. That would have been a completely different summer. My name is William, and you've been watching Emerson, Los Angeles. See ya!
There he goes. Wash away forever. No more editing ever again. Or documentary filmmaking. He's just he's taking his anger right now on the ocean. I don't know what it did to him.